So hello dear friends, today we are going to see another how to do YouTube videos. This is part 3 so don't forget to go back and search for the part 1 and 2. So today we are going to see this kind of video, how to make your own subscribe button, the popping up subscribe button. So first I chose this button which I liked, so I preferred this button. So what I did was, I want the green color, this exact green color, so I took a screenshot of that green color and then I want the blank white to know where I can place my symbol. So I took a screenshot of this also. Now I went to my favorite app, Scrapbook, and I chose the green color picture first, the one with the white bottom and I cancelled the borders and I started to put my logo and write learn with Fazila which is my channel's name and I started to do what I like how I want to present the logo okay the popping up of my logo so I place my logo now I place the text and how which font I needed I chose the font and I place both of it and now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to make the sides green so that the only part which I need will be shown in white. The other parts I don't want it to be shown because there the subscribe button will be appeared. So we need to think where and all we don't need the frame then that has to be green. So now this is the picture which we need. Now I am going to edit this picture in iMovie, okay? Or you can use any video editing app which you have. It's the same procedure, just chroma key in kind master like that, it will differ, okay guys? So what I am choosing is, I am choosing the blank green screen first and then the learn with Fazila, the one which I cropped and then another blank screen. Why I am choosing this is, to give transition so the first transition will be sliding up and then the second transition will be sliding down so this is the one which we need so if you see in that uh, green screen what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it as a small screen and compare the timing so that it will pop and close in the correct way okay so I have placed it in a small screen as in picture in picture and I'm gonna compare the sliding up and down and the time levels okay even if you do this when you actually place it on top of the video you will see the difference but yeah while doing this popping up logo thing you need patience and you need to do the trial and error method you need to try and see whether it's okay if it's not okay Come back to this video, edit it and do it again. Only then you will succeed in getting your professionally looking popping up logo. Without any errors, if you want to make your logo, you need to do it again and again and again. Okay, so the rest of the procedure will be my trial and error method which I did to get my perfect popping up logo. So now I have again created a new movie in that I have placed a blank green screen first and then I have placed the downloaded popping up blank one and then another blank green screen. Now on top of this I am going to make the uh, video which I created as green screen effect or the chroma key okay. Now when I place it here, now I will compare how the transition should be, whether it is coming in the correct time. I will do the trial and error method. I will see that I will reduce or increase the blank green screens uh, place. Okay, so if I'm going to reduce or increase it, it will pop up in the same time. So I'm going to check that by playing again and again and increasing and decreasing the green screens. Okay. So if it's not going to work out, then again, I will go back to the same video, which I already created and I will edit that a little bit and save it. 
and again upload it here so this is how you have to try once you try and succeed the professional look which you want then you can proceed in uploading it in your videos like how i have shown in the beginning you can do that it will look really professional and you will love it and it is a very simple and easy method to follow in this way it's just you just need to know it practically so it's just making the transitions making two videos and combining it into one and finally what i did was uh, since to make the transitions equal i actually slowed down the video and uh, now since and so it is a very long video i don't want a very long video so i again downloaded the video in imovie and i you know uh, speeded speeded it up and i stored it again and that's my final video and i'm going to save it as my favorite so this is how you have to do it guys do try my method and tell me in the comments below how your popping up logo came out really guys this seems to be the easiest method for me i think you can do it by your own methods also do comment on that also so what other youtube like how to do youtube videos you all want please do ask me about it so i will update upload a video about it also guys uh thanks for watching my channel do support me by subscribing and liking my video and do share it if it was useful for you guys thank you Watching. Bye. Subscribe.